And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're all well before we do get into today's video, as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Well, Liverpool do sit pretty at the top of the table, yes, two points clear of Arsenal and more importantly four points clear of Manchester City yes Liverpool of course going into this weekend with a potential stumbling block of course there has been the news of course of Bosley Trent Alexander-Arnold was going to be out it was made even more of an issue when Alisson Becker was announced that he was going to be out at the start of the game as well there was a change made um, and of course with our current record at Brentford sort of new stadium yes we've only played them twice away from home but we were in those two games we've never won we obviously lost one game and drew one game so it was of course you know what the English media is like playing and painting a picture for every sort of match day that was that could potentially be a stumbling block for this Liverpool side with the injuries and of course um, our record or supposedly at Brentford Stadium however we went out there and in the end it was a very very comfortable victory uh, four goals to one maybe <clears throat> from the first half an hour if you like before Darwin Nunes's goal uh, we could have probably said you know, maybe where they had our number a little bit was a bit of a struggle. Brentford looked fairly dangerous. However, after the Nunes goal, really had <clears throat> zero doubts. Of course, with um, Mo Salah coming onto the park as well, showing his genius, it was also very, very good to see. Now, there obviously was a bit of an issue there, of course, with um, Jota and Jones within the first half. Those two uh, injuries don't look good at this moment in time, and it just adding um, adding fuel to the fire at this moment in time. Alisson out, Sabozlai out, Trent out, Jota out, and now Jones out. These are five really, really key players that we've got at this moment in time, and it's probably come at the wrong time if we're going to be perfectly honest going forward on this sort of quadruple chase. Um, whilst, as I said, I do like our squad depth, I do believe we've got a really, really good squad depth. Just having those five key players out does gonna could pose us and cause us problems going forward. So I am a bit anxious about that, if I'm being perfectly honest. However, having said that, hopefully not all of them are going to be out for a considerable amount of time. Obviously, Sabozlai should be back by the cup after the cup final. Trent Alexander-Arnold should be back by the cup final. We'll wait for the diagnosis, of course, on uh, Curtis Jones and. Um, um, and Diaz, however, they don't look good at this moment in time. Oh, sorry, um, and Jota, not Diaz. Uh, but at this moment in time, they don't look good. However, looking at the next run of fixtures, if you like, before that Manchester City game, I'm looking at and feel, you know what? Actually, these games are winnable with our sort of thing. Look, Luton at home, I don't think that could cause us too much of a problem. I do think Rob Edwards has done a fantastic job at Luton, especially on their own turf. But I don't feel they're going to be a match or a problem at Anfield. Chelsea Cup final was something that would take care of itself. Then we've got the FA Cup game against Southampton, then Forest away before Manchester City. Then hopefully, as stated, players will start to return again. We'll add that winning groove and hopefully, hopefully, um, we don't pick up any more injuries along the way because that could cr prove costly in the pursuit for the title, for the quadruple, um, depending on how optimistic you are at this moment in time. But for me, it's all about the title at this moment in time. That's the trophy I want to win the most. That's the trophy I want to see Jurgen Klopp go out the door with. Um, but as stated, yeah, hopefully um, no more injury problems going forward. Um, however, there was a shock twist, of course, that Liverpool fans are ecstatic about um, after the weekend. Of course, we got our win. We did our job against Brentford. If you looked across the other Premier League results as well, Arsenal did their job. Um, I don't, I still maybe, I need to, we're going to talk about Arsenal a bit later on. I did look at them still as maybe not the title threat are main title rivals just because I feel when they're in the ascendancy they kind of show that they bottle it all the time however going out and scoring five goals against Burnley um, yes some could say it's against Burnley but of course um, you know they've scored 11 goals in their last um, two games which you know they're, they're showing signs of getting a lot better and coming out of that bad period of games that they had in January however the big shock of course of the day was Manchester City won Chelsea won now as stated so many times times and we've, we've done this rodeo twice before I do believe Manchester City are the side that are going to be the team that are favourites for the title no matter what really just due to them being able to do it they know when to do it having Kevin De Bruyne back Haaland and all these kind of players coming back um, they can kind of just get into that groove and really set that tone and yeah go on and win um 
countless amounts of games. We've seen it. But this is a little stumbling block. A draw is almost like a defeat when it comes to sort of title races. And when it's that close, as it has been in years previous, dropping two points can be quite costly. And what this does for us now, obviously Manchester City is well documented that they had that game in hand. If they were to have won that game in hand, they won yesterday, then they would have been in, uh, the title would have been in their hands. They would have been the team in the ascendancy. They would have been the team in control. Uh, but this, what does now, um, is gives Liverpool some breathing room. We are now comfortable um, if City win their game in hand, we're comfortably one point clear of them, two points clear of, um, of Arsenal. Yes, still a little bit close to comfort, but I'd rather it be in our hands than, of course, being into um, Manchester City's hands because we know what they're like. And then you've kind of got a hope and hope that teams in and around you drop points. But at this moment in time, we win all our games, we win the title. It's as simple as that. I know easier said than done, but... Of course, that was a shock twist to this weekend that just made my smile um, get even bigger, um, despite what happened, of course, on the park. I know it was a win, but sometimes just all these injuries that are adding up at this moment in time, it just kind of, it just creates a bit of a bit of anxiety going into these title races but looking at the games going forward I do think um, they shouldn't be too much of a problem um, if we're going to be missing these players um, and as stated Manchester City dropping points um, once again which is very very good to see as well having said that their games up until the Liverpool match are very winnable in Manchester City's standards they've got Brentford they've got Bournemouth then they've got the FA Cup game but then they've got the Manchester derby I've never really uh, wanted Manchester United win games but those matches obviously I'll be um, putting any colours on for Manchester United, but I'll be certainly supporting them in that in that game on the third of March. Uh, then they've got the Champions League game and then they've got us. So it's going to be uh, an interesting sort of running. But here's hoping that they drop more points along the way. Um, and we'll get to a bit of the running talk a bit later on. But just happy to see that this shock twist happened, of course, this weekend. Manchester City dropping points. Now, as stated, I will discuss Arsenal as well. Like, um, again, maybe I'm being a bit disrespectful that I'm not really counting them as title contenders, which they they are, technically, if you look at the title picture. I just feel the same thing will happen again that happened last season. They're obviously playing the Champions League as well. Um, I just don't think they'll be able to handle it on all fronts. Um, but having said that, as stated, 11 goals in their last game. They obviously beat us 3-1 um, and are on a five-game winning, uh, five winning streak within the Premier League and are looking fairly dangerous. But when you um, start to see it, when your Champions League football starts to come back in, you know, they've had injuries, problems and just their previous showings of bottling it um, I don't think they'll cause us too much of a problem but look what do I know I'm just sitting here recording a video and just giving you my opinion uh, but Liverpool fans do let me know your thoughts of the game yesterday let me know um if these injuries are going to cause us a problem going forward, let me know your thoughts on Manchester City, Manchester City dropping points. And genuinely, give me your honest answer. I know we've all got red tinted glasses for Liverpool in this in this channel, um, but be honest. Do you think Liverpool can win the title this year? Yes or no? Let me know down there in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of today's video. As always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Liverpool content. Thank you, and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Peace.